This class is dedicated to the memory and blessing of the soul of Kayla Bat Shana. Shalom Aleichem. We are continuing learning the wonderful Likute Halachot on Halacha Dalet, the fourth Halacha on the morning um, Halachot, Jewish rules. We are on section Tit, section 9, about the Halacha of how to behave and manner in the bathroom and therefore it's not allowed for the person to clean himself with his right hand because he is tying with his right hand the tefillin even though that the person of course washing his hand and his hands will be totally clean spiritually there's a certain damage when a person is cleaning himself with the right hand because that the right hand has a certain importance that with that hand you're tying your tefillin on your left arm. And now Rabbi Nathan is explaining the halakha, explaining the wisdom that is behind the halakha. Because foreign wisdoms, that by them heresy is being pulled, they are being called ki tsoa beli makom. Vomit, waste with no place. Means with no, when we say with no place, means without Hashem. Hashem, He is the place. So when Hashem is not there, the world is being full of vomit and waste. Because the food is reviving the person, gives him life. And by that, his face are shining when he eats in purity and holiness. Like that it's written, Vayochel vayesht vayitav libo. When the verse is describing holy eating, it's saying, he ate and drank and his heart became good. Like that it's written in a different place that the main illumination and life that the person is gaining in the aspect of the illumination of the face we're receiving by the food. And it's only based on the spirituality of the food. So Rabbi Nachman here is bringing to us another evidence to the fact that food is healing and bringing light to the life of a person when the food is being eaten in purity and holiness. And soon we can speak about that. And that evidence is that it's written in a different place in another book that the main illumination of the face that the person is receiving by food is by the spiritual side of the food, not by the physicality of the food, just by the spiritual sparks, holy cargo that those particles of food are holding within themselves. That that is the good part that is treasured in the food. That only that part is reviving the man in the aspect of the verse, Ki lo al halechem levado adam, a man cannot live only on bread, just on all the things that comes out of the mouth of Hashem. Ki al kol motzapi Hashem adam, the person will live. So the life of a person depends in decrees of Hashem and not on food. A person goes crazy, I must eat, I'm so hungry, if I'm not going to eat something now, I'm going to faint. That's not true. If Hashem will give you the power to live, you should live. And if not, then you have an issue with Hashem. Some people eating and eating and it does not give them life. Some people like Moshe Rabbeinu was able not to eat and not to drink for 40 days and he was stronger than ever. But by the physicality of the food that the bad is being held on to, the waste is being created. Complete waste that is being rejected to the outside because it is in the aspect of foreign wisdoms, heresy, that they are vomit and waste like we learned. When there is wisdom, when there is anything in this world, you can grab that thing in its spiritual side and you can grab it, God forbid, from its earthen side. When you grab that thing with spirituality, you attach yourself to the life that it contains, to the godliness that is treasured within it, to the purpose of its creation, that you're using it properly to the purpose, to the will that Hashem wanted that thing to be created for, for that reason. By that you're pulling out life 
sparks of holiness out of that object, out of that situation, out of that food. And then it revives you and it uplifts you and heals you and shining your face with great light and glow. But when the person is twisting his ways and enjoying things from their physicality, from their foreign side, from the outside, from their earthen side, by that he creates vomit and waste without place, without the connection to Hashem. And therefore, when the person wants to receive on himself the yoke of heavens in a complete way, that it is in the aspect of lower wisdom, like we learn, that is in the aspect of kingship, he should, what that is written in the halakha, yipane v'itol yadav, clean himself and wash his hands after the person goes to clean himself in the bathroom, then he needs to wash his hands. So what does it mean, clean himself? To reject the waste, that they are the aspect of foreign wisdoms. And then will wash his hands in the water of kindness, to pull that kindness, that by that, that we're pulling kindness, by that we're cutting the kingship, we're dividing the kingship of Hashem, of God, from the foreign kingship, from the other side, from darkness. And we are purifying the kingship from them. From them means from all external forces. And then the person should put tefillin and will say Shema and pray. Because all of that is the aspect of correction of prayer in the morning prayer. All those things that the person should do, waking up, going to the bathroom, cleaning himself with the right hand and not with the left, and then washing his hands after he finished cleaning himself, washing his hands in, with the water of grace, and then putting tefillin, saying Shema and praying Shacharit, that is the correction of the morning prayer. That all the corrections that are in the aspect of waking up from the sleep, cleaning himself, washing his hands, putting tzitzit and putting tefillin, reading and saying Kriyat Shema and tefillah, prayer, all that is for the elevation of kingship and it's a known thing. Rising the kingship, uplifting the kingship is the work of the righteous person to find the sparks that are treasured inside creation and to uplift them. And that is in the aspect of bottom wisdom, lower wisdom. That that is the aspect of Avraham established Shacharit. What it is written about Avraham, our father, that he was the first one to pray Shacharit, pray in the morning, like that it's written in that Torah, in the Kutem Oran. And therefore, we're not cleaning ourselves with the right hand because that you tie with your right hand the tefillin, that the tefillin are the illumination of the, ver of the face, like we learned, that from there, from the face, the main life of the kingship that is rising and being purified from them, from the foreign side, from the foreign side, is rising. The light of the face is rising. Why? Because the kingship is rising up and being purified from the external side. By finding the sparks and understanding the method of the creation that we need to connect ourselves through spirituality to Hashem and to reject or cut ourselves from physicality, from the earthen side of this world. By doing that, we're enjoying the illumination of our soul that is illuminating and shining our faces. And by that, we're attaching ourselves to Hashem. And therefore, the person should not When a person is going to clean himself in the field, to do his needs in the field, if let's say he does not have a bathroom, a toilet or something like that, he should not clean himself to the east or to the west. Because east and west are the directions that your face will be facing Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is in the east and therefore you cannot face the east and clean yourself or turn your back to Yerushalayim and clean yourself. Because over there is the temple of Hashem, Beit HaMikdash, that over there is the place with the main, there is the place 
that the there in Yerushalayim, the place of the temple, there is the main place that from there the illumination of the face is shining. Thank you. Don't think to yourself that it's so easy to translate a Hebrew book to English when English is not the language that you spoke all your life. I learned English just for me to be able to translate it for you. And therefore, say thank you because it's not easy. <laughs> thank you. Project all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Light up courage. In yourself, you're they can you. kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall